out today, big testing day today. I'm out to see if the X-T4 performs well as a vlogging camera. So this is gonna be my first vlog. And let's see how this goes. And also, earlier today, I received from Fujifilm the X-100V. So I'm going out in the streets of London, take some street photography and see how that goes. It's very exciting. It's not the best of days. I mean, the light so far is pretty boring. It's very hot and humid. I mean, hot for UK standards, but very, very humid. But since I got two cameras to test, I'm not going to complain at all. Got the X100V for the whole weekend, and then, well, the X-T4 is the one I recently purchased, so it's going to stay with me for a while. Yeah. Let's see. Now, being this is the first vlog, there's plenty of things I'm trying for the first time. How the image stabilization works. Also, I got the 1024 lens on top of it, which is a stabilized lens. So I need to see if these all works well together. There's the microphone as well, because I'm not using the wireless go that I used during my live streaming. There's a Rode Micro on top of the camera. So yeah, almost in central London. I'm lucky enough to live just outside of central London so I can walk in, rather than taking public transports. Let me change hand. Because there's a park here, which is pretty nice. So yeah, it takes me about half an hour to get to central London on foot, which is pretty convenient. Let's go to central London. Okay, yeah, one more thing I need to check with the eyes is how does it cope with my bumpy walk? So I'm trying to walk as normal as possible. So I want to see how this works, to see if it shakes or anything. I hope it doesn't. All right, let's see how these things works in low light. So I'm, I'm about to enter the graffiti tunnel in Leak Street, just behind Waterloo train station. The camera keeps exposing for the background. So let's see if I just change the settings. So I see my face now, that's something. And I really, really like this place. Oh, this is a new one. Uh, yeah, whoever painted this, wow, I'm impressed. This place is ever changing. I mean, the people come here every now and then and just paint over the old ones over and over and over. I'll see you in the light again. So, let's put the faster shutter speed again. I need to look at the screen to see how this goes rather than looking at you. There's a thing with the XT4. It has the screen on the side, which is a bit distracting because I want to look inside the lens, but then I look at myself in the screen to see if everything goes right. But yeah, I guess that's one more thing to test in these vlogs. It's only the first one. It's going to get better and better, hopefully. So I checked the footage and it was all shaky and bumpy and I couldn't understand why. I thought maybe the image stabilization is not working as it should or maybe it's not as good as it's supposed to be. Turns out it was off. I know, right? I thought that the one in camera would stay on anyway. But I had the one on the lens off on the 1024 and it turns out that this tricked the camera in thinking that I didn't want the image stabilization at all. So even in camera, it was off. So now I'm walking, testing the image stabilization again. Yeah, back shooting.
this on the out of the bag. Here it is. Fujifilm X100V. Time to go and test it. Now I put the face mask on, but the streets are really, really empty. So now I'm in Chinatown and this place is usually packed, which makes testing the X100V harder. <laughs> There's no subjects. Yeah, I'll keep trying. Okay, let's see if I can find a place where to sit and talk about the X100. Should be some tables somewhere here. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna find them and see in a bit. Okay, so how was the X100V? Really, really nice. I wish I could keep it. Maybe I'll buy it. Maybe Fujifilm, you can send me another one uh, to keep. Ah, always tough to find a place to sit and film in uh, in London because security is always on to you. Whenever you stop somewhere, like two minutes, and security is there asking questions. I mean, it's all private land, so of course they can do that. But it's annoying. Because you can't just stop and film and... Yeah. Anyway, uh, last few hours with the X100V. I need to send this back to Fujifilm. I'm so sorry. I would love to keep it. I'm so sorry I have to send it back. It's been a joy to use. In these few days with the X100V have been really, really great. I'm not used to restraints like tiny body with just one focal length, but I loved it. Uh, sometimes I challenge myself to do that, just one body, one uh, lens, and I go out and shoot. I did that in Vienna, and there was one body, one lens, there was a 35 millimeters, and all in one hour. But normally I have one or two bodies, probably four lenses, and tripod, mini tripod, microphone accessories. Yeah, but going out with just this small compact camera has been incredible, really, really great. And even if it's so small, it has all the power and the very nice colors of Fujifilm. Uh, Fujifilm are not sponsoring this, by the way, in any way, shape or form. I'm doing this because I shoot with Fujifilm cameras. I purchase Fujifilm gear all the time. I love them. The colors are absolutely great. They're not full frame. I don't care. As long as the gear doesn't get in the way of my photography, I am absolutely happy. I don't have to think about anything with Fujifilm cameras. Everything, all the dials are where they want, where I want them to be. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, and this is now a technical review. I I don't even know how many megapixels has this camera, to be honest. I just used it, and even though the dials are not in the same position of the XT series I'm used to, it became second nature in really, really no time. And a couple of hours going out and shooting with this one. Yeah, it's easy to use. I learned about how to use this camera, well, in, in very short time. And the menu is very clear, all the dials are in good positions. Maybe I side of the 
Q menu, the quick the quick menu button, which is quite tiny on the on the side. But other than that, yeah, amazing everything. Yeah. I wish they could leave it with me because I love it. Fujifilm, if you're watching this, please. What I really like about the size of this camera is that it's completely unassuming and never intimidating to the person in front of you. You go out in the street and nobody really sees you because you have this small camera. You might not even be taken seriously, to be honest, because it's a compact camera. It's not like one of these big DSLRs with large lenses that feel a bit daunting to the person in front of you. But with this one, yeah, yeah, shooting camera, ha ha ha, he's shooting with a compact camera. But the quality of images you get from this compact camera is astounding, astonishing, outstanding. The way you like it. Look at that. Love it. I tried to use it for vlogging as well. I tried a couple of times to shoot video and it's very light so your arm doesn't get tired by holding the tripod and the, the larger camera all the time. It doesn't have stabilization but because it's lighter your hand, your arm is going to be more steady and the, the audio is quite good even without the microphone image quality is always yeah amazing anyway hope you liked the video if you enjoyed it and you would like to see more of it please hit the subscribe button so you'll see whenever I post new videos and you'll know where I go live with my streamings and if you didn't like it push the dislike button twice I'll be fine with that and yeah I'm going back to the studio and I'll see you there when I'll talk about vlogging with the XT4so what do you think about this first vlog I hope you enjoyed it I hope the content was useful to you because as much as I like talking it's, everything is pointless if it doesn't help you so I hope it did I hope you enjoyed the photos that I added to the video shot with the X100V if you're interested in me doing some uh, POV going around the streets of London with my camera and showing you how I see the pictures I take let me know in the comments and thank you so much I'll go back to the studio and I'll discuss about vlogging with the XT4 All right see you there